Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is called the unexpected. This is one of those readings that you keep asking me for. So I try to do it once in two weeks and I hope that this is bringing clarity or it confirms some of the things that just happened. So if you like this video, give it a like and I don't say this very often or comment down below. I truly appreciate that. Before we start, I'd like to say that this video is sponsored by Keen and I truly enjoy working with Keen. You probably have noticed that. In case you are new to Keen and you haven't heard me talk about it before and you came across my channel for the first time, Keen is a website where you can find mediums, tarot readers, channelers, astrologers, people who are experienced in their craft. When I tried Keen personally before, working with them. I connected to one tarot reader who answered my questions very quickly. I chose the chat option. I did connect to them when it was 3 a.m. my time, so it was pretty convenient to have someone up at that time of the night. What's good with Keen is that you have someone online 24-7 and right now they have a promotion going. For any new member, it's only $1.99 for the first 10 minutes, which is up to $99 of savings. So if anyone wants to go ahead and use this opportunity, the link is down below. It's strikekeen.com slash Brigitta instead of G is number nine, my lucky number. Keen is pretty easy to use. All you have to do is to click the link down below, go to the website, get started, choose your psychic, choose the call or chat option. I would suggest choosing your psychic intuitively, see who you connect to the most, and I hope the questions that you have will be answered. Let's get back to the video. So here are your options. Option one, two, and three. I only have one card each for every pile so far we're going to tune in in every pile i might want to use a different deck this deck is called the golden foil tarot take your time if you need to stop the video i'll see in timestamps hello group number one let's see what we have for you what is happening as part of the unexpected? You have the Four of Wands. Let me tune in first and I'm going to see what I'm picking up with this card in particular. We all know what this card means. In general, a part of the unexpected is very connected to your location, to your home, to where you are right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people, even if this is not in your plans just yet, you will be thinking about relocation. Would it be moving your moving yourself yourself <laughs> moving yourself and your stuff to another town, maybe another area, or for some of you to a completely different country? Other group of people I'm seeing you're doing renovations. I'm seeing you building the space or changing the space that you are in by investing more care or more resources in it. I'm seeing walls being stripped down. I'm seeing old wallpaper being thrown away. It's overall not only to do with the location, with environment, but what is changing is what's happening within you as well. Your life is changing accordingly. So there is a bit of a spiritual meaning to this. It's not only that I am focusing on my home and changing th something about my dom domestic environment, but I'm also changing as a person together with the changes that are happening externally, if that makes sense. For another group of you, I'm seeing this could be connected. This could be Either you're experiencing both or you're experiencing one of these scenarios. I'm seeing a wedding taking place or an engagement. Overall, someone is deepening an existing connection. Wanting to start a life together or wanting to move in together and... To experience, I keep getting, I want to experience life with you. For the other group of you, you are moving to a different location and you are meeting someone there. Let's see what else. The deck that I'm going to be using is Steampunk Tarot. What is happening as a part of the unexpected...
what is happening next okay one card showed itself we're not going to take those too many we have the queen of cups mm -hmm. We have the Page of Wands. And we have the Sun. I'll have this for you. I want to clarify these cards, so just give me a minute. The Queen of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Swords. The Page of Wands is clarified by the Chariot. Mm -hmm. With that, I heard Migration. The Sun is clarified by the Eight of Swords. Okay. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. You've got the Eight of Wands. So, um, I feel like for a lot of you don't see this coming for sure. You may be thinking this is not my reading. I'm not planning to move. Or I'm not. Um, I'm not in relationship. I'm not even thinking about engagement. Whatever this is, it's happening pretty fast and it's happening um, in a very unexpected way. For a lot of you, you're going to say bye to an old life that you had. Okay, what we're looking at right here, we're looking at the scenery of London, right? We also, it's also almost like these two cards connect to one another. We're looking at rooftops in both of these cards. You're saying bye to one space and you're saying hello to another. And for some of you, it's going to be an emotional time. Um, you may be grieving an old life, grieving an old location. You are happy to move forward, but there is still something in your head that's it's kind of resisting the change or it could be just the fact that you are starting a completely different life and you know that you are not going to come back to that place and to live the same life you used to live so it's almost like this reading is bittersweet i am happy to be uh, committing to this space i'm happy to be living there i'm happy to celebrate my new life but at the same time i'm sad what i have to leave behind but I feel like you're going to move through this phase of grief um, quickly. I don't feel like you're going to sit in it for a long time, that you're going to dwell on the past for way too long. I feel like you're going to be way too excited to see what comes next with the page of wands in this deck in particular, the way this person is looking at us, right? They're like, what is there? I want to explore. I want to see where life takes me afterwards. It's like a boost of energy to want to explore. And I also am seeing someone may buy a car or someone may experience a different way of traveling. So maybe the location that you are in in the future is um, requires you to take different routes, if that makes sense. Mm hmm. Sorry, my neighbors are refurbishing. So maybe that's something that you will experience in the future. With this Six of Cups, what I heard, um, there is no need to be sad about the past, what you had in the past, because you can always revisit it. It's almost like it's in, an encouraging message that someone may need to hear. Like, it's okay. You can leave past in the past. Let's see what we have. Oof, we have another four of wands here. You're definitely being prepared for remodeling, for improving your household, living in a home you wanted to live for a while, or getting there very, very unexpectedly. <laughs> okay. Well, some of you are like, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, yes, it's, it's a surprise. It's out there. It hasn't happened just yet, but take note. If you're feeling deep down that this may happen, but you don't see how, maybe set a reminder or half year from now, come back to this video. 
I don't know why, but when I say half a year from now, come back to this video, it's gonna hit you differently. You also have the Empress. It's like you're driving, you're driving, wow, living and dreaming at the same time. Driving. <laughs> you are living the life that you wanted. But it's like for some of you, with that Ten of Swords and Eight of Swords, it's so hard to leave to leave something behind it's like i don't want it i don't want it let's see is there any advice for you you know that the future holds great things great experiences and great environment but someone is like they are scared of what comes with it why why Ah, oh, they're afraid that they won't like it there as much over time, over time. For some of you, I, I'm going to say this. Some of you are afraid to settle. You want to keep going maybe or you want to... You want to experience something that you know you may not be able to experience where you're going. But is that the truth? Let's see. Is that a truth? What you don't see is that you are going to have such a beautiful aura where you're at. And there is another person involved in this. That you don't know how you're going to be feeling in the future. You will not... These people are not missing anything. These people have such a strong bond. They feel like home with each other. There is no grief. There is no sadness. There is connection. Wherever you go in, in the future, there is connection and a sense of home. And it doesn't feel like you are in need to overthink this. Don't overthink this, your cards are saying, okay? Dream big, but don't overthink your dreams. There is a gift that's coming your way. I'm seeing it's a gift. Um, it's a mysterious gift because it's almost as if you give you give in something first. And then after there is another gift. It's like unfolding of events that are positive. What is your advice right now as you're watching it? Keep some mystery in your life. You don't have to know everything. <laughs> Don't try to ruin surprises for yourself, okay? You don't have to see everything. Feel it through, right? Go with your gut. We don't need to know logically or see everything on paper, what's going to happen exactly at one t what time. Mystery. I split the deck, the high priestess. Keep some mystery because um, looking back at this, you would regret knowing some things because you'd want... To experience it all over again and to be as surprised again. So I hope that this made sense. If you need more content, find me on Patreon. Thanks for being here. Until the next one. Bye. Hello, group two. Let's see what we got for you. This is Golden Foil Tarot in case anyone will be asking. Let me tap into this card and then we're going to pull more. The Unexpected. Group two. Mm -hmm. this is gonna sound weird but someone is getting their karma the karma is being served i'm literally seeing a vision of someone um being invited to a certain place it looks like a palace where a review of life takes place. And 
Now, this feels very mysterious. I'm, I'm not able to access all the information because I'm hearing it's not your business. So maybe some of you experienced something like that where you wanted to know someone else's business, but you were kind of shut down or you were wondering if karma bit someone in the ass and you are told, but that's none of your business. Your karma is your karma, karma that person's karma, is their karma. It's something to do with leaving God or universe or or other people who are going to be on the way to do the justice. It's not your business I'm getting here. Let's see. Why is it here? Why is it here? Why is justice here? I feel like you're going to be witnessing an event that's going to feel very karmic. Now, anytime um, I say karma, I bet a lot of you think about the heavy karma, right? Um, it's both. It can be that or it can be something that happens that makes you feel excited. Let's see which one it is. What is the unexpected specifically for you? <laughs> Good karma. The Wheel of Fortune is here. It's like all the good deeds. Um, and I'm hearing graceful living. Was noticed, was seen. Expect rewards coming your way. It's like behind the scenes, spirit is working on noting down everything. It's not, not that it was missing out before, but like really summing up all of your good deed so far something that you did over the i keep getting past five years it's like a review of good heartfelt behavior and soon enough there will be a time where you're gonna experience a, a lucky a very lucky chapter of your life expect rewards coming soon i'm hearing expect rewards coming soon <laughs> of course then of pentacles is here and it's mostly going to be gonna be noticed um on the material plane so specifically connected to your finances you will be able to buy something that you wanted to buy for a while but maybe you couldn't afford it in the past or you had other responsibilities but whatever it is is very close to your heart it's very dear to your heart because i'm looking at those dogs mostly here i'm paying attention to that i'm able to buy something that I really wanted for some time, but maybe it was the wrong time. I had to spend my money somewhere else. I had other priorities. Um, overall, an abundant, abundant chapter of your life is coming your way as good karma. Others of you expect um, protection and happiness in your family endeavors. Yeah, it's like the, uh... <sighs> okay, listen, for some of you, whenever this period comes, don't overthink it, don't, because some of you I'm seeing here, so many great things are happening, but deep down you're like, oh, this good thing happened and that good thing happened, it must be something bad that's waiting around the corner. The cards are saying, stop thinking that way. Allow yourself to fully be in the present, acceptive, accepting moment of this abundance. You do not have to expect anything happening that is, that's bad waiting around the corner. There is no, I'm seeing a bait. Like, it's not a trick. You deserve that. 
okay? There is no catch to this abundance. That's yours. Remember, once it comes, remember that. It's yours. Anything else that we need to talk about here as part of the unexpected? Okay, definitely not seeing this coming. Mm -hmm. I'm also seeing a reunion here. And my... <laughs> My tone changed because you're dearly missing someone in the future and that person may surprise you with their appearance. They're appearing in your life again. It's like I'm seeing a really, really warm hug, a really long hug, and I'm hearing someone say, I've missed you so much. Oh my God, you're here. So you may expect a visitation from someone who you dearly love. It could be a friend, it could be a family member, but whoever this is, you haven't seen them for a while and you have a very strong connection to this person. And the sweet vibes. Mm -hmm. On top of nine of pentacles, we have, sorry, nine of swords, we have the ace of pentacles, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, um, you're going to receive an offer in the future or suggestion. Make sure you think about it and you don't get scared. Sleep on it if you need to, because whatever it's going to be, it could be also an idea of business or whatever the case. Um, be very accepting when it comes to someone giving you a gift or offering something, don't brush off suggestions or opportunities because what I'm seeing here, one of them will trigger a fear in you. But if you go for, for it and you don't allow your fears to dictate your actions, you may expect a very abundant chapter in your life on top of the abund abundance that we talked about. It's going to be long lasting and it's like, it seems like it's your baby. The way she's holding it, right? It's, it's my baby. I took it. I created it. This is my baby. This could be metaphorically or maybe not for some of you. I care for this pentacle. At first I was scared. Maybe some of you literally getting pregnant. I don't know. It could be. At first I got scared once I found out about this. But now this is my baby. I can't imagine my life otherwise. So it doesn't have to be an actual baby. Um, it could be a business. But for some of you, it might be. Anything else? Yeah, I'm seeing someone becoming a mother or a father. Um, it's all about family and your rewards. That good karma is going to be focused on your home. So if you want to change anything about your home or if you want to buy a new house or invest in property, you're able to do that in the future. But at the same time, it's also about the feeling in the house and the, the someone that you live with, a very nice ambience overall and nice connections. I'm also hearing someone is returning home. Specifically for a couple of you watching, it could be from military. Someone is returning home from military. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is very lovely pile number two. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. I'm seeing a connection with one particular person growing to a much stronger one. Now, this could be platonic or romantic, doesn't matter. 
but the connection is growing and I'm seeing someone appreciates you so much they want to give you the, the world and it seems like you'd want to do the same for them. Whoever this is, this is someone who is quite a chill person, but um, if there is injustice or if there is a situation that's unfair and this person sees that, they're going to stand up and speak about it. This is someone who doesn't beat around the bush. Um, they're going to tell you how it is. Okay, And I feel like that's why you appreciate this person and vice versa. So if you need more content, find me on Patreon. I hope this made sense, pile number two. And have a beautiful week. Bye for now. Hello, Tripod 3. Let's see what we got for you as part of the unexpected. You have temperance. All right, let me tap into this card. Okay, I'm getting the whole story, so this is definitely not going to be for all of you. I'm seeing someone who is daydreaming or thinking about um, completely changing their life. Like literally wanting to pack their bags and move to a different country in their mind. Um, and some of, the, some of these people are thinking, it's just a daydream. I'm not going to do that. But I'm so maybe tired or in need of change that... I imagine just packing my bags and going somewhere to rest. But in truth, what I'm seeing happening, what is happening in the future, instead of this person wanting to run away from their environment, they're going to find themselves looking at the issues that they are trying to avoid in their environment that makes them feel overwhelmed or makes them feel that makes them feel tired, wanting to run, wanting to go, wanting a massive change. It's almost as if the card is bringing me to the present moment and it's saying, hey, you're going to take your issues to this new place, even if you want for holiday. There will be a chapter in your life in the future where you're going to be shown what needs to be looked at in order for you to have the life that you want in the place that you're at right now. It's not to say that if you if you want to move, you, you will not move. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about someone needing to focus on and to look at what are the influences that are working against you, against your health in some way, that need to be solved. What are the habits that need to be looked at in order to have a more balanced or grounded day? Um, what can I do to be better to myself in general? So what's happening next, I'm picking up with this, is someone is being kicked in the ass, <laughs> right? But in a very loving way. Calm down. It's like I'm seeing spirit opening your eyes, right? You want, you want those eyes shut because you're like, it's easier for me to just pack my bags and go on holiday. But the spirit is like, okay, wait, let's look around. Let's acknowledge what you're going to come back to after holiday. It's going to be the same thing. Holiday is going to be a short-term fix. Let's go to the core issue. So someone is being shown what felt like or what feels like a blockage or I really don't like that word, like a stone in a shoe or reason for sadness or reason for slacking um, in the near future. Let's look. Let's pull from the texture tarot if you like. The unexpected. Four of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. The Moon. Too many, too many, too many. Let me pick them up. Okay. Let's see. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles. 
Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups, the Five of Swords. And the Moon is clarified by the Queen of Swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. So what's happening next? Someone um, is going to be put in a position... That's not going to be very fun, but it's going to be very beneficial to see the truth of a situation. Now, I really don't want to be um, very specific in this pile because for some of you, it's to do with someone's inability to cope with money well or to keep money. They keep spending it on things that um, really are not necessary at that time or someone doesn't know how to manage their money. But they, they know that, but they keep doing the same thing. For others of you, it's to do with um, a relationship and um, someone knows that it's dragon or something. It's like that stone in a shoe. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to see the reality of a situation, but they will be faced with it. And it's going to be one of the best things that happens. And we're going to be thankful for that. Now, what I'm seeing as well someone will experience a situation where they will be offered something new but they will be very scared to take on that ace of cups because they will be still connected to the history i keep hearing history i'm so involved in the history that i cannot allow the future to come in i'm not living in the future i'm living in the past and your cards are saying are you ready are you ready to encounter fresh energy you the one who has to give us permission because without your permission we cannot do anything against your will so tap into your subconscious and see your dreams may be already giving you hints you may see the synchronicity what is it that you are scared of when it comes to changes um but you know deep down that it has to happen you may also encounter a person, whether it be someone in your close proximity or someone who doesn't know you so well, who's going to say something that may at first feel like an offense. It's going to be brutal uh, truth. <laughs> We're going to be brutally honest. But you will need that though. And you will thank them. At first, you may react to that like, oh, I didn't like that. But then you come back home and you go, but they were right. And they gave me a kick in the ass to do better. So that's why I said in this pile, pile number three, someone is being kicked in the ass in order for them to start walking forward instead of waiting around. Okay, what is this? We have the lovers, we have three of swords, we have eight of swords. Yes, yeah, some of you are um, in, I'm going to say in contracts, uh, because it could be either work contract or it could be relationship, right? A soul contract with someone um, that keeps breaking your heart over and over and over again, or you notice a pattern of your behavior that you keep choosing those people, people who are very similar in some ways. And um, you're going to have to take that knife and cut that rope off in order to walk and in order for you to set yourself free. Um, I'm seeing sadness. I'm seeing heartbreak. I'm seeing someone knowing deep down. Look at her facial expression. Just feel her energy. She knows that she needs to walk. He knows that she's going to walk. She's already out of it in her mind. He's still holding on. Or someone knows that this situation is going to end in a heartbreak if they keep continuing to allow something to happen. It's going to be worse than what it is now. Bottom of the deck, we have the high priestess. The intuition knows. But someone keeps choosing the hard, hard routes. Um, it's like your cards. It's like those cards are screaming at me. Stop choosing pain. Stop choosing pain. Why are we doing this? That's why there's going to be a person who sent you away, um, who either it can, it can be even online, you know, scrolling through social media and you 
hear someone's speech some or someone talk and you're going to feel like it's directed to you um or you can meet someone and they're just going it's going to feel like they're the spirit is talking to you those words may be harsh but that's going to be what's needed to set you free so expect a um release it's not gonna be easy i'm seeing for a lot of you but it's very necessary what happens next then okay then we're making a decision are we choosing the same route right we attach to something here or are we choosing a new route it's completely up to you but it seems like you're going to choose a route that mostly feels like home to you whatever that means this will require your strength. Oops, sorry, not nearly knocked the camera down. But strength, right? Determination. This may not be easy. Some of you may want to be changing behaviors here because I'm seeing someone saying to themselves, I know this is what I tend to do. I'm not going to do it anymore, but this is going to require my focus and my commitment to self to do better because this habit is not going to happen overnight i need to do it day in and day out or to keep choosing a different route every time so that i reprogram myself or i do not come back to the old habits that's what this feels like to me so that i'm not scarred anymore okay four of cups and the six of swords yeah this this may require for some of you some time uh some time to be gentle with yourself some time to recuperate rejuvenate set new goals and plans because i feel like whatever this is when this is left behind um you're gonna have a slightly different view on your own life what you want from it and you will want to fly high. So I hope that this made sense, pile number three. And I feel like this wasn't news to you, to be honest, for most of you. This was just like a confirmation pile I'm getting for a lot of you. But um, hey, listen to your gut. And I hope this is helpful. If you need more content, find me on Patreon. Until the next one. Ciao.